the houses of peace. And I want to just go through the the progression of this because this has really been, it's not just a Holly Kim and I thing. It's actually been a corporate thing that's grown out of our interaction here as an affinity group. And it's for the city and region of New Orleans. And, and it looks like it's going way beyond that. <laughs> yeah, it's really moving. Ed was so excited about it. I called him and told him about what was happening. He had me presented on a cohort where, that has that I'm on with him, Holly Kim and I, that's from people from all over the world, from Ireland, uh, England, uh, Mexico, Thailand. all over the United States, Canada, Thailand. He said, Dean, Dean, this prototype that he gave you, you need to present it to our group yeah. and we presented it Thursday. And so so it's it's a lot, it's it's the Holy Spirit's on it because it's so simple and the Holy Spirit's breathing on it. And we'll talk about that as we go through. Every transformational vision actually starts with a problem or a need. If you've read uh, or if you studied prayer evangelism, is we bless people and then we fellowship. And what is their heartfelt need? And what is the heartfelt need of our city and region right now? It's the skyrocketing murder rate. There's other things, but it's the skyrocketing murder rate, the crime that's happening. By the end of 2022, we had 70 homicides per 100,000 people, which was the highest in the United States, higher than Chicago, higher than uh, New York, higher than other hot spots around the United States. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <clears throat> and so we've had this skyrocketing, which, which you all know. We ended 2022 with, uh, we just talked about 70 homicides per 100,000. We've had shootings, we've had 482, carjackings, 279, uh, robberies, we've had 541. That's, I believe, just in the city limits of, of our Orleans Parish. So there's just this prevalent fear, crime level, our community is uh, really shaken, and it's a huge need, right? As you know, our police department, and we've been praying for, uh, I thank Eddie for being being uh, obedient to the Lord on that. The goal of the New Orleans Police Department is to have 1,600 full-time officers in order to police all the districts. Uh, presently, we have less than 900 officers, and so we're short. Uh, the police chief, as you know, has resigned we have an interim police chief. The morale is extremely low. Uh, response times are dangerously delayed. I, I was watching a lady who had her her shop on Magazine Street. Car ran through it, robbed it. Uh, they called the police, and it took, I think, nine hours before the police responded to that call. So they had other calls that they were dealing with, okay, and, you know. It Obviously, there was other dangerous things happening that they couldn't get to her for nine hours, which is really sad. Yeah. So that's that's really part of the the problem. But God, say but, but God. God, but God, but God. Yeah. So we have a prototype, as you all know, Pancho visited us. He said, look, We're so lucky. <laughs> he said there's four steps and we got a hold of it. There's four steps. You need to pray. We need to start with prayer. Number two, we need to have faith that God can change our region. Yes. We need to, third, have love. Ask God to give us a love in our heart for all the people of our city. Yes. To ask him to give us his love for the city, for all the leaders, regardless of what side of the aisle they're on. To give us love for all our civic employees all our businessmen, all the people that are suffering in poverty, all the people that we need to have a heart of love for our people. And then fourth, he said, obey the Holy Spirit. Whatever he tells you to do, obey it, even if you don't completely understand it. So that became a prototype that we grabbed hold of. Now, we started a, a Zoom prayer for 30 days. We did 30 days straight a number of months back. 
Many of y'all were part of that from 6 to 6.30 a.m. We were praying for 30 minutes via Zoom over the internet for our city, for our region, crying out for divine solutions, asking us to open up doors, all the things that we're told to do. So we did the first step. Then after that 30 days, we transitioned, which we're still doing today, every Tuesday and Thursday morning from 6 a.m. to 6.30, we're praying for our city and region. So we did the first step. The Lord began to reveal a very simple strategy, which we know as the Houses of Peace. It started with Leon really releasing a word about Nola Shalom, what the word shalom means. Shalom is the Hebrew word that's translated into English as peace. Uh, we started, that started to become our rallying cry in our prayers. Every, every prayer Zoom ended with Nola Shalom, shalom over the city. And the Lord began to give us a strategy for addressing the problem. Now, as you may or may not know, Peace is the translation of shalom, and that word peace actually means the very atmosphere. So when peace enters into, say, Alphonse's house, it's not just a lack of fighting between people. It's actually the atmosphere of heaven invading his home and bringing all the things that are in heaven into his home, or my home, or Mama Kelly's home, or Linda's home. And so when that atmosphere comes, that's why that word shalom is much more than just tranquility. In, it means divine protection. It means divine healing gets released. It means wholeness. It means deliverance from any demonic spirit. It means prosperity starts to reign. It means safety comes. It means relational harmony in, in family relationships. It means all those things. And so what we're saying is that you are raising up a home where peace reigns in your house so that when your neighbor walks through the threshold of, their do of your door, they will actually experience whatever they need. They may need to be delivered from an addiction. What would it look like for them to walk into your home and then the addiction is broken off? Come on. Or they're suffering with with financial issues. They walk into your home and things start opening up and God starts prospering them. Or they need healing in their body or even relational harmony in their family. This is what shalom means. So I'm teaching, but I got to get off of that. Keep going. Stay yeah. on. All right. So what is a house of peace? This is the, the house of peace. You dedicate your home as a house of peace. Number two, you agree to adopt your block and pray the blessing of peace to be upon every home on your block. And number three, you mark your home. Holly Kim had this great inspiration is that we need to From mark the, Lord. <laughs> the home. Yeah. Inspirited inspiration, right? Yeah. From the spirit. Thank you. With an orange ribbon. And to put it on your door, your mailbox, around a tree, the orange ribbon is a sign that you are a house of peace. Because really, it's you that are the house of peace, as you just said. And that you are praying. The orange ribbon signifies that you're praying peace upon all the families on your block. And we're taking the region of New Orleans back one block at a time. Holly Kim and I just made a post. We, have a, we live on Hudson Road, also in Gonzales, in addition to our condo. And I posted, she put an orange ribbon on our mailbox. I posted on our little neighborhood Facebook page. Oh, neighborhood watch. That uh, this is what the orange ribbon means. And we've gotten so many responses. Oh, thank you so much for praying. Peace upon you. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look, the people are so appreciative that we're actually praying for them. Mm -hmm. It's the same with you all. So that's the house of peace. What has been the fruit so far? We just started it this week. I talked to you a little bit about uh, my my uh, conversation with Archbishop Amen. Uh, he's open to hearing about what we're doing and possibly getting this out to all the Catholic churches in the diocese. Unbelievable. Number two, Trevor Truitt. He's a pastor for the Mega Church um, Celebration. He's a pastor in Chalmette. He says, Dean, I'm all in. 
I'm so excited about this. I'm going to present this to my life group. I'm going to present this to a task force that I am involved with in my community. I'm going to present this to the pastor's meeting that I go to. As you know, Celebration is a wonderful church. It's been doing a lot of good work in our city. Can you imagine if everybody in Celebration Church? My Pastor Dennis says, do it. Says, get in, make your home a house of peace. Come on, Lord. Number three. Archbishop's assistant, for Father Buddy Noel, who I'm working with to do the presentation to the Archbishop, is working with me. He wants, he said, Dean, we have to present this to all the different priest associations in the diocese to get the priests involved. He was excited. He sent me a contact. He says, you need to contact the Episcopal Bishop of New Orleans and get her involved on this. And he also said, uh, you know, he'll give me the contact of a, a rabbi. Maybe right. we can get this rabbi to raise up his congregation to do houses of shalom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. We had contacted Lauren Daigle. Uh, and I think that was a, a it wasn't not a, sure, huh? we're not sure whether it was really her that responded or not, but she said she'd love to get involved. So we're going to believe it's her. We're going to believe it's her. Come on, Jesus. And then as you no, it's marked by orange ribbons being placed outside the home. So there's our home, yeah, with our orange ribbon. Uh, there's Leon's home, yeah, beautiful home there. And then uh, there's a tree in front of Leon's home, orange ribbon, a mailbox. Look, this is being raised up all over the city, and we're going to see these orange ribbons that are signifying we're taking the city back one block at a time. 